Okay, here's a short video of how to use uh, App Studio 3. First, load your configuration. If you have not loaded your configuration yet from the Tier Time website, download it and then do an import. I already loaded it before, so you can see here that uh, I have C2 to default configuration. My custom config is one that I created to suit my other printing requirements. So I'm going to use the default, which most of you see, or let me just select the CTOS2 default. Click OK. Make sure that you're online with your printer. When you hit the drop down list box here, you will see that I have my CTOS Mark III and my CTOS2. So make sure that you're connected to your printer, select the printer serial number. You will not be able to see your printer serial number if one is not running. So the, the one program is running here. It's actually doing some prints right now. So I'm going to load the model. And uh, let me go to this. So let's just say that I'm going to load a middle finger. So we just do a drag, drag and drop and it will be placed here. You can use the auto place function. So when you click the auto place function, it will be centered and arranged. And you can navigate your uh, view. This is the right mouse uh, button. So I'm holding the right mouse button to move it around. And you can zoom using the roller. So you can zoom to your parts. And using the left mouse button, you can change the perspective. So it's really easy. So I saw some uh, comments earlier that they're having problems with this. It's not really different from Cura or um, Idea Maker or Fusion 360, which I use a lot. So it's very easy to use. You can flip it around. You can flip it bottom. This is stop. And then you can you can rotate it. Uh, the arrow is always the front. So this is the front. Okay. So this is how the model looks like. Of course, you will see here that the model will require a lot of uh, supports. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, in this video so the next thing that you need to do is to click on the slice in the vertical tool toolbar this is the vertical toolbar so when you do the slice you will now be in the layer mode and you can see here the different photos in the layer mode so let's zoom into that and I'm going to show you the sliders so that you'll be able to see how it will be printed so you will see the first layer you'll see the next layers and so on and so forth so that's the purpose of the layer okay this is the layer mode if you'd like to go back to the model mode you can click the model mode and then in the layer mode um, one of the nice things i use a lot in my Citus one is the ability to change filament because it's it only has single extruder and in that case I can always use pause layer and it's still here in situ uh, I mean in App Studio 3 so let's just say that I would like to display the layer and uh, pause it here for a filament change of course we're not going to change the filament uh, in real life for this particular model but I can say pause and it will now uh, give us a pause for this particular layer okay uh, you can actually look at the different commands that you can do you can invoke here and you can see here that we have a pause okay so that will be a pause layer so after you have looked at your um, layers and verify that it is ideal you will now see that you have the um, TSK here right so in some situations you may want to change some parameters for example 
um, change the layer height so I'm going to remove the TSK and I'm going to add or change the parameters I'm already in expert mode if you do not see ex expert mode then you have to go to app studio go to preferences and you will see here that advanced UI is checked if you check advanced UI you will be able to see the expert mode and the advanced mode as well so you can simply scroll and you can go to the different actually the arrangement here is very good as far as I'm concerned Hey, I've used Cura for a long time, I've used Idea Maker for a long time, and I've also used App Studio 2 for a very long time. So anyway, let's just say that I'd like to use uh, 1.15 millimeter, and um, you can say you wanted a raft, and then click Apply, click OK, and then select the model, this, or you can click this or this, doesn't really matter. Select the model, hit slice, and you will now see the changes that were made by setting the parameters. And then you can again look at how your model will be printed. If you're happy with what you saw, you can click print. Of course, I'm not going to uh, print this because my printer is busy at the moment. So, as you can see here, the print uh, button is enabled and some users are complaining that they cannot print. That's because you're not online. So, if you're not online, like for example, you use CITOS 2. Okay? So, we're back here. So, let's zoom in. Okay. And you wanted to do a print. There's no print button. Because you're, you're offline. You're not connected to your printer. You cannot print. So there is no need to worry about the TSK, TSG things. You don't, you don't need them. Okay? Because you are, once you are connected directly to your printer, then you can now print as easy as that. Uh, let's just say I'd like to do this for my CITUS 1. Now you will, of course, know the CITUS 1. Ah, it's also printing. Uh, ah, it's done. So anyway, um, now the model is outside because the CITOS 1 has a smaller build plate. So all you have to do is uh, just hit the auto place and that's it. So it's basically the same. And then you hit, uh, you can remove this first uh, because, you know, it's sliced for CITOS 2. So hit this, click auto place, and we're back. Click slice, and then again you can you can view the different layers as you please. And if you're happy, you can click print, and then the print button is enabled because I'm online with my Citus One Mark Three. So yes, there's a lot of things that you need to learn, but it's to me it's not different from any other software okay so there you go